Hello and thanks for watching my video. In this video we're going to talk about the Cisco UCS integration with Microsoft System Center Virtual Machine Manager. Uh, here I'm running an instance of VMM 2012 R2 and as we can see I have several servers uh, in as hosts in my environment. These host machines are uh, servers running under UCS Manager. Uh, Cisco provided a UCSM UI integration into uh, Virtual Machine Manager and with that we have the ability to drill in on the elements of the uh, servers running as hosts inside this system. So for example if I come over here now and select the Cisco UCSM interface it'll go in and pull up um, some primary tabs and download some data directly from the UCS Manager. So we see uh, several things here. First we see hypervisor hosts in three different um, you know, groups and those groups happen to match the groups that we have inside UCS Manager um, I'm sorry, inside Virtual Machine Manager and uh, that's automatically filled in and when we expand these we can see the actual servers so these are the same servers we were looking at earlier and as an example I can click on one of these servers now and it gives me a drill in that looks similar to what I get inside UCS Manager. If I come over and pull up UCS Manager, um, go to my Equipment tab, pull up one of my servers, I get a view that's very similar. I get Errors, Inventory. So let's go back and take a look at that more closely. So Faults, so I can see if there's any physical problems with uh, any element of the uh, Blade or Rack server. The overall status of how the server's operating. Um, I can see its inventory, I can drill in on parts detail, its connectivity to the fabric. Um, I can pull up firmware details to find out what kind of firmware is running on the different components. And if there were faults in here, uh, I get the drill in on the specifics. For example, this is telling me that uh, I don't have any local disks informational um, plugged into either of these uh, blades because I'm doing a boot from SAN. If I come back here, uh, you, we can see down here that I have the ability to turn on the locator ID to find the server. Um, I can actually KVM directly to the server. So if I have messed up the, uh, the networking inside the system, uh, whether it be for RDP or the console connection inside VMM, I have the ability to use the built-in KVM console in UCSM to still get into that blade. Uh, I can set the desired state uh, to power on or off that server and I can take its service profile, its workload template and I can uh, disassociate that freeing this blade up. Uh, additional things I can do is I can drill in on my UCS domain here it's Joe's Lab is the UCS domain that we're looking at and I can drill in on physical things like my rack servers and the actual uh, chassis and blades more importantly though, uh, what I can do is I can drill into the software configuration. So I can go in and I can look at my service profiles that I have in the system. Uh, I can look at my service profile templates that I have in the system. And with these service profile templates, uh, I actually have the ability to clone a template or create a new service profile from template. So using the previous example, I could have disassociated and freed up a blade or if I've got spare blades in here by looking at uh, my inventory on my chassis uh, and rack servers, I could go ahead and add a new server with all of its personality based on one of these templates directly. I can also go in and look at what the uh, system should be running for firmware. And then if I have suborgs in my uh, system for various groups for doing tenanting type services, uh, I have the ability to drill into that. So as you can see, it gives me a better single pane of glass for those who spend a lot of time in VMM and um, would want to make changes that would generally require them to go out to some other management tool we've now brought that functionality directly into VMM uh, making it uh, simpler for them to function. So I hope you enjoyed this video please check back for more in the future.